hello and welcome back to the channel today we are going to go over your reading for july 2024 i have placed crystals on the cards for those of you who like to choose with crystals this is pile one with green flower agate pile two with blue fluorite and pile number three with Amatry. I will leave a link in the description box below so you can skip ahead to your pile. Let's get started. Hello pile number one. If you chose this pile, you chose the crystal, the green flower agate. And your card is the king of pentacles. We will now shuffle your tarot deck. And then pull your oracle cards to get more information. Okay, pile number one, starting off with this king of pentacles here, I see you manifesting something, and I feel like you're trying to gain stability this month. You have quite a few scales here, almost as if you're trying to regain balance or making a decision in something like you're trying to either manifest a dream job or trying to manifest balance in your financial situation maybe even a dream job that you want or an ideal working situation In your crossing energy, you have the Page of Pentacles. And with this one, I feel like with this Four of Cups here in your foundation, this is showing that things are not moving quite as fast as you would like them to in this situation. And you're trying to manifest success in whatever this endeavor is. It's a... Um, it's almost as if you had a plan here, and for some reason, it did not pan out the way you had hoped. For one reason or another, there may have been people standing in your way, 
the timing may have been off, the plan wasn't fully thought out, maybe there wasn't a plan B, but there's a lot of frustration that things aren't happening as fast as you had planned or even not happening in the way that you wanted them to. Because in your foundation with this Four of Cups, there's a feeling of almost apathy here. A bit of a, a burnout feeling, being unmotivated and tired of the same old, same old, you're bored, things aren't moving in the direction you had hoped or not moving fast enough. Things may not be moving at all for you. In your recent past here, with this Page of Swords, you may have been given some sort of communication and you may be waiting for this communication and you're tired of waiting. You're wondering, what's the plan here? Why am I continuing to wait? This could be for a promotion, a transfer. This could be dealing with a job, a business trip. You could be someone waiting on planning a vacation with your family and you're still trying to hash out all the details, but there is a sense of waiting here. There is money here with all these pentacles, so I do feel like this is how you make your money, whether you work for yourself or you work for someone else. I feel like It's almost as if in June you receive some sort of communication and that was it. So now you're moving into July and you're still waiting. And what's coming towards you is the Seven of Pentacles. And you're starting to analyze do you want to continue to push forward in this situation? Do you want to continue to try to make the best of this situation? Do you want to continue with this plan? Do you want to write a new plan? Do you want to scrap this? You're going to be doing a lot of deep reflection and gaining a lot of insight and introspection on how you feel about this situation. Because with this first quarter moon you have over here, you're feeling like your commitment is being tested and this waiting game here has you sick and tired of everything that's going on. You're ready to just be done with it. As you can see here with his with it in his hand. He's he's done. He's he's tired of worrying about it. He needs that communication. What's coming towards you is this Four of Pentacles. So there is a feeling of you are focused on bringing a sense of security to your situation. Your decisions are being based solely on financial security. So I feel like what you decide to do here with this Seven of Pentacles is going to be based upon 
what is best for you and your loved ones financially. Inwardly, you have this Two of Cups. So overall, there is a lot of worry, but in the month of July, there is a lot of opportunity to, to strike up good conversations. There's good times for romance, going on dates, having a lot of fun, and reconnecting with friends and family. Even with this sun card, you can see that there are good times, there's a lot of love, a lot of laughter. There is one situation in particular that is going to be weighing heavy on your mind, but overall, even with this after the rain card, there are silver linings in this. The whole month is not going to be completely focused on this. With this Two of Cups, it leads me to believe that you are going to be connecting with someone romantically. This could be spending more time. If you're already in a committed relationship with someone, re-sparking that romance. You may be meeting someone new. There are silver linings here, but it looks like your mind is preoccupied. But the month does look like it's going to be a very good month. There is a silver lining here. So, don't fret. In the environment, with these good times, there could be a lot of love. Spending time with loved ones, like friends. And with the Sun card, this could even indicate that there's children present that you're spending time with. This could be welcoming new children into your family, yours, or nieces, nephews, cousins. In your hopes and fears, you have the Tower card. Now it looks like your biggest fear here, of course, is whatever this is coming and crashing down on you, hurting your financial situation, putting you out, putting your family out, hurting you, hurting your financial well-being, but I do not see this happening. Things just, with this silver lining, things are getting better. Over here, you have this release the petals. You have a transformation happening. This is like the death card, so there's changes coming. It's not going to rain all of the time. Things are not going to be bad 100% of the time. The sun is coming out. So this energy that you're coming out of June with into early July, the sun is going to come out. It is going to be shining bright. Transformations are going to take place. As you can see with this Justice card here, that you have in your overall outcome, the scales are going to be rebalanced. So if in this situation that you're worried about, if you are feeling like someone did you wrong, whether this is a legal matter, you feel like your company that you're working for has done you wrong, you've got injured at work, You've had to get on workers' comp, or 
whatever the situation may be, this is telling you that the scales are going to be rebalanced. Things will be turning out in your favor. The silver lining is coming. The rain is moving out. The sun is coming in. Release the negativity. Things will be okay. In your outcome position, with this oracle card, you have the fertile void. And this is about new beginnings. This is about these changes coming in. After these silver linings, these transformations happen. These new cycles begin with this new moon in Libra. And as you can see, you have scales again, just like with this Justice card. The scales are going to be balancing for you. Things are going to be transforming, so this sense of worry is going to be moving out. The rain is going to stop. The sun will be shining. And this tower moment that you are fearing, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Look at her. She caused that tower. She's not at all surprised that that tower moment happened. This tower moment happened because she caused the tower to happen. She needed this tower to happen. She's not afraid of this transformation, this change. She is confident in her gift, skills, and abilities to move forward after this change. Because she knows that she can build this tower back much stronger. And so can you. Thank you, pile number one, for sitting with me through this reading. If this reading resonated with you, or you like this style reading, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. Thank you, and have a beautiful day. Hello, pile number two. If you chose this pile, you chose the beautiful blue fluorite. And your card is the King of Swords. We will now shuffle your tarot cards and then pull your oracle cards to get more information.
Okay, pile number two. You are starting off with the King of Swords. And I feel like in June, you made a logical decision that you stood by. And someone here may not have liked it. Because in your crossing energy with this Knight of Swords, it's almost as if someone's rushing in with this sword drawn. Almost like trying to come at you. They disagree with the decision that you have made. Almost feeling like it was a personal attack. I feel like this has something to do with a relationship, especially with this lover's card here. Looking at this reading, there may have been a breakup in the month of June that you have experienced. And this may have surrounded a career or money with these wands and pentacles that you have here. Especially with this Ace of Pentacles in your foundation. This relationship may have been moving really, really fast. This could even indicate you being a king and them a knight, showing that you were older than them, or vice versa. That with this Ace of Pentacles here, there may not have been enough financial stability to take the relationship to the next level. Maybe moving in together, or having children, or something along those lines. Maybe even marriage. That's keeping the relationship from moving to the next step that this younger person wanted to do. And it's as if they could not handle the idea that they were not going to get their way. Because in your recent past, you have the hanged man. It seems here that you were forced to see a situation from a new perspective. This may be this person's true side. This could be the situation from a different angle, this relationship from a whole new angle. I feel like this is showing that that relationship could not be reconciled, or at this time, the two of you are on the outs. And what's coming towards you is the lover's card. And the two of you may be trying to reconcile in the month of July and reconnect because you may be feeling like there's still love there you want to fix this relationship you understand because you've seen their perspective here you understand why they feel the way that they feel You even have this full moon in Scorpio. You're wanting to release that negativity. You're wanting to start from scratch. You want to try to fix this because there's a real connection here for you. You have love for this person. And you're hoping that they have a deep love and a connection for you as well. This does show in your near future with the Six of Wands that you are going to be successful in reconciling or salvaging this relationship. There is going to be success here. With this new moon in Leo, it's showing that confidence here is going to be the key to your success. Going in there, being confident, being logical, and open-minded. 
having these honest conversations is going to lead to this open connection and to the success that you seek. Inwardly, it's going to leave you feeling highly confident, very passionate, feeling like you've achieved a great victory. And as if you could do anything. In your surroundings, you have the Two of Swords. There may be those around you who disagree with this reconnection. They may think that you are blinded to the ways of this younger person may feel like this person is manipulating you or that you're not fully seeing how this person is or maybe they feel like it's fixed right now but later it's going to be the same song and dance again. You, though, hope with the Nine of Cups that you have the perfect love that you've been looking for. This is going to be your wish fulfilled. This is the long-lasting, lifetime, soul connection that you've been looking for. And in your overall outcome, you have the Chariot. Now, the Tarot does warn to take things slow and make sure that the two of you are in alignment with your future goals, wishes, and dreams. That you're both on the same page, you have the same future plans, and not to rush ahead to make this connection last. In your oracle cards, you have the Wild Rose. This is asking you to not change yourself. Don't change who you are or your beliefs to fit someone else's mold. Be you. Be boldly you. Next, you have We Are Nature. And this one is about your deep connection in this relationship. The two of you, or at least on your part, feeling that deep connection in this relationship, that intertwining that you are missing and needing and wanting to reconnect with. And finally, you have the sacred waters. Again, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You're not changing who you are. You're not rushing into anything. And you're using caution when it comes to reconnecting with an ex. Understand that the relationship did end for a reason. Make sure that you are not staying in a relationship or running back to a relationship, should I say, out of codependency or trauma bonds, manipulation, or anything like that. Just make sure that you're being safe, you are loved, thank 
you pile number two for sitting with me through this reading. If this reading resonated with you or you like this style reading, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Hello pile number three. If you chose this pile, you chose the beautiful Amitri crystal. And your card is the Five of Swords. We will now shuffle your tarot cards and then pull your oracle cards to get more information. Okay, pile number three, you are starting off with the Five of Swords here. And with the cards that you have around here, all these pinnacles, I feel like this is dealing with your work environment. I feel like you are dealing with a work environment that has you feeling like this girl here. It's very toxic. It could be messing with you, mentally stressing you out, making you feel like it's all an exclusive club. Whoever brown noses the most gets away with everything. But there's something here that has you feeling like things are unfair. And mostly towards you for one reason or another. In your crossing energy, you have this Queen of Pentacles. And it's as if you are putting your own needs and desires and wants on the back burner for whatever these other two here are wanting just to try to fit in or to please this boss or these co-workers of yours to try and fit in and it's it's taking a drain on you you feel like with this first quarter moon here, your commitment to this new job is being tested. And it may not be new. This may be a new boss that came in. Because in your recent past, things were good.
you feel like you're not understanding how things went so bad so quickly. In your foundation with this Ace of Cups, the tarot is telling you to take time to nourish yourself. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Make sure you are resting. You are doing things that make you happy. Make sure you are spending time taking care of yourself. This could also indicate that your home life is very good and it is your work life that is so trying on you and is causing so much discomfort and mental exhaustion. And as I was saying in your recent past with this Nine of Pentacles, things were good. You may have had a different boss where things were, were great, things were decent, or this may have been a promotion that you took and before the promotion things were wonderful, or you changed companies, or changed roles, or whatever the case may be for you, but things were good before and now things are not so good. This new team that you're on or this new company that you're in is toxic. There may be gossip. You may feel left out. You may feel like just an overall outsider. What's coming towards you is this Knight of Pentacles. And so there may be opportunities to grow here, but this is going to be a slow and steady progress here. Things are going to be very slow, and this may be what you're dealing with at the moment, because this is kind of what's above you. This is pretty much like presently going on very early in the month you may be learning new things and this growth is happening very slowly for you and it can be very frustrating this could even be you know the manager and their lap dog over here and you're not getting as much attention or training as this other person you may be getting blamed for things that you're not doing that this other person is doing. But there's slow progress and I can feel the frustration that you are experiencing here. In your near future, you have the Seven of Swords. In pile three, I have to be honest with you, I feel like this is a warning to get away from this team or these people here because you need to strategize a way to get out of this situation or away from these people with the seven of swords. I feel like things are only going to go from bad to worse. The feeling that I'm getting off of this card is that there's going to be almost like a blame game, I would say something that it's like you're going to be blamed for something that you did not do and I believe that 
your name will be cleared, but it's going to be a long, frustrating process. A very long, frustrating process. Inwardly, this month, your environment here has you feeling the need to walk away with this Eight of Cups. You're wanting to cut ties with this group of people. This could be the job or just this team of people and move into a new, better situation. In your environment with the Four of Swords, it looks like there's going to be a lot of heavy focus on resting, relaxing, recovering in the month of July for you, which is very good because it looks like you're going to need it with the amount of frustration that you're going to be experiencing with this group of people. In your hopes and fears, it's almost as if you fear here with this Four of Cups that you've done something to provoke this or you've missed something that almost brought this on, like what are you doing wrong? Are you missing something? Are you actually missing steps? Are you actually messing up? Are you making bad calls? Or are you really bad at what you do? It has you questioning yourself. And it's, it's really driving you insane there. But that's just not the case. It's really some mean-hearted people that can't take accountability for their own actions. The great news for you, though, pile number three, is in your future outcome position. You have the Ace of Pentacles. There is a new opportunity on the horizon. There is something opening up to you. This could be a new department. This could be this manager moving away. This could be you moving away. But prosperity is coming. With this new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. You are getting away from this. You are getting away from these people. Things are going to be looking up. I'm so excited for you. The next card you get is Sophia. And this is all about a divine plan. In your recent past, you were put at this company or in this position as part of a divine plan. There may have been something you were supposed to learn there or someone you were supposed to meet. But in the past, you were where you were meant to be. Your time there is coming to an end. I know you can feel it. It's not sitting right with you anymore. The time is done and it's time to leave. The next card you have is the crowning. And this is about you taking your place, moving in, being initiated into a group, this new group, this group that is rejecting you. These are not your people. Do not feel bad that they are rejecting you. These are not your people. This is not your place. 
it is them that is missing out. You are a wonderful person. And you will soon be crowned and initiated at the right table with the right people. With people who love you, accept you. Finally, you have Brothers of the Rose. This card is letting you know that there is protection. You are protected at this time. And Brothers of the Rose, this is letting you know that there is a masculine energy around you. This could be in your workplace. This could be in your friend group. This could be someone that you work with. This could be another manager, maybe someone that you've worked with. This could be someone higher up. This could be someone that you're going to be transferring teams to. Someone here has your back. And I feel like this masculine energy has been sticking up for you. For every bad thing that these people here say, this masculine energy is saying, I don't believe that. That's not like this person. You have someone looking out for you. Don't change who you are to please these people. They're about to be moved out of your path. You're going to walk forward into this new day, into this new opportunity. Things may move slow at first, but remember, this prosperity lies ahead. Thank you, Pile 3, for sitting with me through this reading. If this reading resonated with you, or you like this style of reading, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. Thank you, and have a beautiful day.